When we hear the name Huawei, we often think about devices such as mobile phones, laptops, tablets, or even smartwatches and earbuds. You don't really tend to associate the name Huawei with infrastructure equipment such as servers, storage devices, and networking equipment such as routers and switches. Having said that, Huawei are becoming more popular for their infrastructure equipment such as their rack servers, their storage devices, as well as their networking equipment such as routers, switches, wireless access points, and wireless access point controllers. As a network engineer, being able to work with equipment from different vendors is a skill set within itself. We know that most vendors have some sort of a simulation or emulation application that you can install on your computer, which allows you to get real world experience or hands-on experience with their equipment without having to have the equipment in your home. Cisco has their packet tracer equipment that gives you real world experience with powerful networking simulation tools that are built by Cisco, as you can see here. Um, we are familiar with the GNS3 software, which I've created um, a video on. You can see my previous videos on that, and that's the GNS3 uh, em emulating software, which allows you to emulate uh, the operating systems of routers. And Huawei are no different. Huawei also have something called the Enterprise Networking Simulation Platform, or ENSP for short, which just like Packet Tracer is a simulator and allows you to simulate the routers and switches, access points and so forth. Uh, and that gives you the hands-on experience of practicing with their equipment without actually having the equipment in your house. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to install ENSP on your computer. And I'll also be providing you with a link to a folder that will have all the resource files that you need to set up the uh, software on your machine, as well as practice labs that you can get started with in order to understand how to use uh, the Huawei networking equipment. Once you've downloaded the folder in the link uh, in the description, just uh, open the folder. And what you'll see in there is a number of files at the top. It's just the installation guide for the ENSP software. You can have a look at that. And then you've got the ENSP software itself. And then what you've got below that is the entry lab guide, which is a PDF, PDF file that you can use. Once you've installed your software, you can use this guide to do the entire uh, associate level course. Uh, and if I just show the Huawei certification paths, what you'll see is uh, that they have a similar model to uh, Cisco. So they've got the HCNA, Huawei Certified Network Associate. Then they've got the professional level, then the expert level. And then uh, as opposed to Cisco, they've got one extra level, which is the architect level. Now, if you want to pursue uh, the certifications, then this is something that you probably will need to explore. Let me just close this. So this guide is the entire entry lab, uh, entry level, the associate level course. And you can follow this step-by-step -step guide uh, in in completing the uh, entry level uh, certification. Uh, after that, you've got some uh, reference guides, command reference guides, and then you have the VirtualBox 4.3.4, as well as uh, WinPCAP and Wireshark. Now I've put Wireshark, uh, the two versions, uh, one the 32-bit and the 64-bit. I'm gonna be using the 64-bit, but you may need the 32-bit. Um, the reason I've got an old version of uh, VirtualBox is because the simulator only works with an older version. I've downloaded 4.3. Uh, I'm going to install this because I don't have this installed on my machine. I've got Wireshark already installed and I've got uh, WinPCAP already installed. So I'm just going to install VirtualBox. And you will need to install these three software before you install the simulator. So let's do that. Um, as I said, I've got these two already, WinPCAP and Wireshark. It's just VirtualBox that I need. I'll install that. Uh, I don't need any of these and I'll just say next you can keep the desktop shortcuts if you need to say yes install give it the permissions and then just let that do its thing say install uh, I'm not going to start the virtual machine uh, Oracle VM uh, sorry Oracle uh, VM virtual box I'm just going to leave that press finish now I've got all three software installed. Now I can start the setup of my ENSP uh, software. So let's double click on that. Again, I should be prompted for permissions. Say yes. And it says here that the version of VirtualBox is low. Maybe error if overlap, it may install new version of VirtualBox. You should uninstall it 
firstly install it now so okay I might need to download version 5 instead of 4 so let's just say yes it may it may offer me to uh, install it yep let's uninstall it so that version is of no use as I said you have to get the right version of VirtualBox so let's say next it may offer the uh, it may prompt me to install it from within the software so let's say next to that say next uh, leave it the default so I'll keep a desktop icon and here it says ah, VirtualBox has not been installed on your machine so let me just download the latest version and I'll actually update this folder and what I'll do is remove this one from the folder actually for now I'll get the uh, later version which is 5.2 as it says here and then I'll come back and we'll uh, install that version okay so I've downloaded the uh, version 5.2 of VirtualBox so I'm just going to cancel this installation for now let me just say cancel and I'll install version 5.2 of VirtualBox first let's run that same process again keep all the defaults if you want to I'm just going to remove uh, that and say next install give it the permissions and There we go, so it's completed. I'm not going to launch it. Say finish. Now I go back to my ENSP setup. So this is why it's important to have these files installed before you run the setup file. Say yes. It should now detect the right version. So let's say next. I accept the license agreement. Next. Keep the defaults. Yep, that's all good. Say install. And we'll just let that complete and come back to it. Okay, so that's all done. Uh, I'm not going to launch the uh, update log. I'm just going to launch the software itself. We'll say finish. And that should open up the ENSP software. And here it says, please add uh, ENSP related applications to the list of Windows firewalls allowed programs and allow them to run on a public network. Okay, so. I'll leave that for now but that's just your firewall settings what you can do is if you go to your control panel you can turn off your firewall at home firewall uh, let's see so mine is on you can turn it off or you can say for example if I just want to turn it off I can do that obviously in a work environment you wouldn't do that but just for the purposes of our lab we'll just turn off the firewall and that should allow um, the ENSP software to function correctly um, that's just the quick fix we can actually go into it and allow the software to be permitted but I'm not going to do that for now for the purpose of this lab um, yeah so there you go you are now in the simulator and this is it so you can then create a, a new topology a new project and so forth so if I click on uh, new, new topology that will give me a blank workspace and I can then create a new uh, network topology you've got your routers now your switches um, so if I say routers you've got all the routers here if I select switches I've got the different models of uh, switches that Huawei have as you can see wireless LAN I've got some access points I'm not sure if they've got controllers and then you've got the firewalls uh, end devices if you need to do, use those just like packet tracer you've got uh, plenty of features and then the connections uh, to your between your devices uh, you've also got some examples here of uh, various different uh, uh, what do you call it routing protocols so rip version 1 and 2 OSPF single area multi area OSPF uh, yeah and as I said use this guide here to first complete the entry level stuff get yourself familiar with the um, get yourself familiar with the Huawei software and how it works and um, yeah I hope you enjoy practicing and and uh, learning a bit more about the Huawei routers and switches you can you know you put your router on there you can start it up just like GNS3 and then once you start it you should be able to console to it uh, CLI instead of console and then you can see it booting up just like a normal router and you can start practicing your lab so you can set up your labs and I would suggest or recommend that you set up your labs according to the uh, lab guide that I've given you on the uh, in the folder there. I hope you've enjoyed the video. 
and you found it useful. If this video has helped you in any way, then please do uh, hit the like button and please subscribe and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date with the latest videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.